back to another episode of City Skylines. So today I wanted to work on this area and we'll see if we can't get this little section all built up. Maybe even get a industry um, place set up somewhere in here as well. I'm not sure where I want to put that just yet, but um, we have three different options to put it. Uh, we could put it over in this general area, we can put it over here, or we can put it in this general area. Uh, the only problem with uh, this is they would still have to travel this way, uh, because I don't really want to put a direct line right onto this section of um, the roundabout, because it could cause traffic congestion. So instead, I would either want them to come out this way, or come out from over here, which is already pretty congested uh, with cars and stuff. So I'm thinking probably have them connect up to this road here somehow. Um, as far as these roads, I'm not entirely sure what I need to do for this. We'll see what we can come up with. Um, but as soon as we get this powered, the, the better, because then there's an extra stop over on this area for transit. So. Hopefully. And I did get some bus lines set up. I don't know how many people. There's three people using that one. And one person using that one. Okay, so... I think there was an inner bus line as well. Yeah, there's 11 people on this bus line. So... There's one that goes around this way. There's another one that goes around the other way. So two people. So it goes all the way up to here and goes around, so... And our garden looks really good. This is our um, garden estates. That's what we worked on last episode. Just a simple park with playgrounds and trampolines and stuff like that. But it's got a washroom and a uh, park info booth. I thought it was a cafe, but apparently not. Uh, whatever. And then there's the park plaza and uh, park chessboard. So people can use those how they want so yeah um as far as figuring out what we need to do i'm thinking probably put the industry area over on this area so it has easier way to connect to the line uh that would probably be better uh or we could put it over on this side those are pretty much our options i think so Maybe we should start working on this section of the area today and then we can connect up to these areas later on. That might be a wise decision to actually work on.
Okay, so I put a uh, leisure district as well as a forestry district in here. I figure what we'll do is we'll um, develop this area for leisure and stuff. Now, if we look at our noise pollution, you can see that it's pretty high in that area, right? Um, we probably want to put residential in this general area. And I just noticed that I just cut off the liquid or water from the uh, thing over here. So we'll fix that up quickly. There we go. That should help them. <laughs> no sewage, but we have water up there. I forgot that we needed uh, to hook that up. Um, but yeah, so we could move this over to here. That would help with the noise pollution. And then uh, looking at the graph... Uh, where is it? The noise. Yeah, we should be able to get away with that if we put residential in here. The noise pollution is pretty high on that side. But, um... Yeah, if we move it on to the other side, we might be good with that. Then again, I don't know about the industry area because that's going to take some uh, noise too, I think. I wonder if we can um, improve this by going to NIMBY. Should be one for NIMBY. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe under city planning. NIMBY. Leisure specified. So let's try that. And we'll see if that reduces the noise a little bit. Okay, so it's actually reducing the noise just a little bit. Not a whole much, but uh, it did drop it a little bit there. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that and see how it turns out. It is day still, so who knows. It might just, uh, might need to space this out a little bit more, uh, possibly and mix in industry in there we can try that where's the con most concentrated areas so over in this area right so maybe if we space them out a little bit more like remove these two remove those two and remove those two might be able to put those mixed in the area over there and put industry in that might help Whoop, wrong one hold on there we go so we might be able to move that over. So we unzone three, right?
So what I've been working on is getting this all set up so we can basically get people moved in here. And I've, I've designed it in such a way that um, basically the noise pollution from the metro or monorail, monorail station doesn't really affect the parts where the uh, houses and stuff will go. So that should help with the layout. I put a park here instead, so it would basically help with the noise pollution. Also put a lot of parking in uh, because these are all basically the, um, what do you call it, the uh, roads without parking on them. So hopefully that will help with a little bit of parking issues and stuff like that. Might even want to put one or two up here as well. Uh, let's see here. Parks, that tab. A couple more up there, just so it's covered. Might even want some over on that other corner here. Just so it's pretty much like covered for the uh, area and stuff. All right, so for zoning, I was thinking about, well, we should probably Make sure that this is all set up for an actual zone. So I'm gonna just grab that, drag that over. Doesn't have to be exact. Just enough to cover that area. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as self-sufficient self buildings, I think. That would probably do really good. And it looks good too, right? So we're going to move that over up to about here. We'll try to keep this as even as possible. Like that. Perfect. All right. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that square. Uh, we'll need to name this uh, later. I'll probably name it by the end of the episode. And I did put a garbage facility in here. This shouldn't affect the residential. Uh, but it, it will um, allow us to get garbage pickup and stuff too, so hopefully that will be good. And let's see, zoning wise, probably want low residential on this side. And figure we'll probably put a low residential here and here. And then we can fill in the rest with... Um, Oh, darn it. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to, uh, set the...
just watching, like, going through here, keeping an eye on the, uh, traffic and stuff, and I noticed that the, uh, chess thing just engulfed in flames. I'm going, somebody's competition didn't go well. <laughs> Probably like, ah, I didn't win, I'm gonna set the whole place on fire. Anyhow, uh, we have a couple of helicopters on the way, so we should be fine. Um, outside of that, I got, uh, some of these buildings in. I did put a couple little tiny building, well, empty plots, I guess, just for overgrowth. Uh, just to kind of decorate it. I put one there, and then I ended up moving the, uh, clinic and put one where the clinic was as well. So, that was kind of deliberate. Ooh, that's really on fire, actually. Sure hope that it doesn't burn down. That would really bite. Anyhow, uh, the other thing that I put in was a high-capacity hospital. And I hooked up the um, sidewalks and stuff to that. So, added some trees and stuff like that. So, we'll be working around that next episode for sure. We'll probably put some parking or something behind here. And um, make it a little bit more realistic. And we could even put the parking on that side, I think. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.